lot of people ask me on Twitter uh, when I mentioned I was going to talk to you, uh, what is the status of you doing the third film? There's a good chance. <laughs> um, yeah, we're working on it right now, basically. You know, we're shooting February um, and then release in the next February. So well, it'll be another tight run, but uh, we've got a good idea. And basically, this I was movie, gonna say that is a pretty tight. Well, run. this movie in particular. I mean, when the movie came out last, the first movie in September, I was already in Albuquerque. I was four weeks away from shooting. You know, so it, it was. It's been basically a long haul so far, and you know, we started shooting basically in late October. Um, and then uh, finished the movie in August, you know, so it's like, what, 10 months or something, you know? So we finished this movie really quickly. I, it was, as soon as I delivered my last VFX shot, you know, I graded the last thing, it was 11 o'clock at night or whatever it was, I went home, as soon as I walked out of that grading suite, woo, you just feel like all this energy that you've had for the last year and a half or whatever, um, you know, it just drains out of you and you just feel it like, why am I so tired? Um, but yeah, so we're, we're, we're working on the third one right now working to make it even better and even cooler and, um, and doing the same thing we did on, the list, on, on this last one where it's a different movie. It's going to be a different kind of an engine, a different kind of genre almost, and a different you know, sort of uh, you know, color palette and, and, and terrain. It's going to be cool. It's going to be very, very cool, I think. Do you know where you're, assuming everything goes according probably to plan? Vancouver. I was going to ask you where are you shooting? Yeah, probably Vancouver. It's going to be a very different movie. It's, uh, we're not going to be in the same kind of setting anymore. We're going to go a little bit more future and do something a little gritty, a little film noir almost. And, it's gonna be cool. Uh, it's also a lot of forests up there, and a lot of uh, a, a lot, lot of, of that too. A lot of outdoorsy things. Yeah, and you know, I don't know. I'm, I'm, we're we're expecting to go to Vancouver. I don't know yet exactly, but uh, you know, that's kind of the goal. We'd like it to be there because a lot of things that we need are there. Well, they, I think they have a tax rebate up there, so that also that's another thing too. And that's the reality of making movies today too. Is like you, you know, I'd love to shoot in L.A. To be honest, it has everything I need. But you know, that it's I get it. The studios, you know. Whether it's a good idea or not for the for the industries in the different places that offer these rebates, uh, the studios are stupid to not take advantage of them. You know, so that's why they only make movies where there's rebates. You know? Dude, I was just in Abu Dhabi, um, and sure. we had a whole thing where they're doing a thirty percent tax rebate yeah. on anything that's shot there. Vancouver sometimes is forty. That's insane. If you're VFX related. Oh, because if you do your VFX in Vancouver, it's called the Dave credit. Yeah. There it is. Because that's I've, significant. You know, and that can, on a big giant movie, that's a lot. Well, it's also, a, a lot of people don't realize, it just adds a lot to what you're able to do. Yeah, And totally. it just, ex, you know, expands the scale and scope. Yeah, it's, 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 exactly. And like I said, not that I'm for it, but I understand why the studios, you know, use it because it's there. Well, I mean, yeah. at least, I mean, you're based in L.A., so at least the Vancouver, L.A. flight is not that bad. Yeah, especially now. I've got a little baby now, and, and it'd be nice to be able to, you know, see them occasionally while she's growing up. You know, I literally, I, while I was doing my cut, you know, I had a baby. So it's been a it's been a, a hectic past uh, couple of months. Do you envision? Uh, I know you must be a proponent of IMAX like I am. Yeah, Do you I'm envision a... incorporating shooting any IMAX for the third one? Interesting. Um, possibly. I mean, I don't know. It's like it, the truth is, IMAX is going digital too. I love digital. You know, I love film too. But there's a way to make digital look like film too. You know, there's a way to have that kind of gritty realism and and use natural light. You just have to do it differently. Um, and this last one we shot, we're the first someone at Fox, I think, to do this. We shot open gate from the, on the Alexa, which basically means I'm shooting basically, my, my resolution is around 3414, um, which is almost 4K, basically. But I also, it also means it gives me, uh, you know, this extra little 10% on all my frames. So I, any shot, any time, I could go and just zoom out a little bit or move over a little bit without blowing up and doing that. It was a great, great, great tool. I loved using it. I'm going to do it again on the next one. Um, but yeah. I mean, uh, the truth is that the thing I love about IMAX is not so much the resolution and, this, and that, it's the scale of the screen, it's the sound, and it's the picture quality, and that's what I love about it. And you know, now I'm a huge fan of this Dolby Vision stuff, it's fantastic, this laser projectors, you know, that are true blacks, true whites. The thing about people don't realize with digital projection is that your blacks are not black, they're gray, and your whites aren't really white, they're kind of off-white. You know what I mean? And I love that the biggest thing that you could, you could do for, for picture today is contrast and brightness. Um, and laser projectors give you that. You know what I mean? It, 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 it's, it's, it's a perceived uh, resolution scale um, because of the contrast is so nice. You know what I mean? That's actually what kind of resolution is anyway, really, is contrast. But um, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's something I'd hope would really kind of pick up is this new projection stuff. You know? I saw the laser projection uh, thing at the IMAX Hollywood Highland Theater, sure. and my jaw hit the ground. Yeah, it's amazing. It's like it's bright. It's 
super dark in the lower left and yeah. upper right. It's amazing. It's crazy. It's, a, it's really, really great. It's a great experience. You feel like you're there. And on the same, same thing on the, on the home front is this new HDR stuff that's coming out. Now, I did an HDR version of the Maze Runner, and it's awesome. It's really cool. It's high dynamic range stuff. Um, it's not gimmicky. It doesn't have to be gimmicky. But it really, again, it gives you deep blacks, bright whites, and it just feels nice. It's what you want to see, you know? Um, so it's cool. Yeah. I would imagine that down the road, after the third film is done, Fox is going to want to put out, like, the ultimate Blu-ray box yeah. set. Yeah, maybe. Or whatever the format is at that time. Uh, are, have you saved a few nuggets from the first one and the second one that could go in like that ultimate set? Oh yeah, there's plenty. Yeah, there's plenty of that. Who knows? Maybe. We'll see. Actually, what's really cool is that, especially the second one, what we did is we designed it so you could just butt them up together. No credits or nothing. Just start the movie and go, you know, which would be a fun way to watch. And I've seen the movie kind of that way already. It's really cool the way it kind of ends and then just picks back up. And that would be fun to kind of somehow string it together so it's all one huge like six hour, you know, saga. Well, that that's actually leads me into my other thing, which is the third film. This one starts right when the last one ended. The next one won't. That's what I was asking. Yeah, this next one will be cool because we're going to cut maybe a year later. Yeah, so it'll be cool. Some things have happened off screen, which is going to make the movie feel even bigger. It's going to be cool.